Hello everyone, hope all is well. So today we're going to talk about pyramids. How pyramids differ from prisms is that pyramids have just one base. So for example, these three pyramids, if you notice, only have one base. We call this a triangular pyramid because its base is a triangle. We call this a rectangular pyramid because its base is a rectangle, pentagonal, so on. So as you notice, this differs from what we just talked about, which are prisms, because a prism has two bases. In this case, we call it a pentagonal prism because the base is a pentagon. So when we talk about regular pyramids, a regular pyramid means that its base is regular. So for example, here, if we call it a regular pyramid, pentagonal pyramid it means the base is a pentagon it comes to a point because it's a pyramid and it's regular because all five sides of the pentagonal base are congruent a couple other vocab terms so we call this I'm gonna look at this rectangular pyramid as an example so we call this length and this length we call those lateral edges. So same thing here and here. So we call those lateral edges. Another important thing to keep in mind is what we call the slant height. So the slant height is if you draw perpendicular from the top of the pyramid, perpendicular to one of the sides, we call that length the slant height. So we'll keep that in mind as we're talking about surface area. So let's dive into an example. It says the regular pyramid shown at the right. So if it's regular, that means the base if it's four sides and it's regular, it means we know it's a square, meaning these all have to be 12. And we also know that the lateral edges, so if this is 10, this also has to be 10, this has to be 10, and this has to be 10. So if we're finding the lateral area, so the lateral area means all of the areas combined except for the base. So basically this area, this area, this area, and this area. Every single face area combined except for the base. So once you find the lateral area and then add in the area of the base, that will give you the total area. So to find the lateral area, let's pick one triangle to work with. So I'll pick this face. So the lateral edge is 10. I need to draw in the slant height perpendicular to the side. If the whole side is 12, then that means this little piece has to be half of that, so 6. So I'm going to draw one of the faces. I drew perpendicular, that slant height. So if this is 12, this is 6. This lateral edge was 10. And so this slant height that we're looking for, if you notice, has to be 8 because it's a 3, 4, 5 multiple of a triangle. All right. So now that I know that that slant height's 8, the area of the triangle is one half base times height. The base is that full base, which is 12. And the height we just found to be 8. So if we do that, one half of 12 is 6 times 8, 48. So one of these lateral faces has an area of 48. And how many of those do we have? Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 times 48 should give the lateral area. Because remember again, the lateral area 
is the area of everything on the pyramid except for the base. We'll add that in later. So 4 times 48, we get 192 as the lateral area. And then to find the total area, all we do is add that with the area of the base. And the area of the base is a square, so it's just length times width, or 12 times 12, or 12 squared. So let's see what we get. So 12 squared, we get 144. And 192 plus 144, we should get 336 for the total area.